Hi, I'm Stephanie Buckman from the Gladwin County Record in Beaverton Clarion, and I'm here with Senator John Molinar, and we are talking about Proposal 1, and that is the proposal that is going to be on the August 5th ballot, which eventually phases out the personal property tax system. And the one question that I have for you, um, why is this the best plan to phase out personal property tax? Well, I think this is a plan that addresses the problem, which is that Michigan has been uncompetitive relative to other states in the Midwest because we have an onerous tax, the personal property tax, which is a tax on business equipment. And what that does is it discourages businesses here in Michigan from investing in new technologies that would make them more competitive, provide more jobs, and uh, really help our state grow. Um, when This has been an issue that's been a problem for many years. Uh, over the years there have been various proposals to phase out and eliminate the personal property tax, but there's never been uh, the opportunity like we have today. So the legislature uh, passed a phase out to the personal property tax, which is going to make Michigan more uh, competitive for jobs. Uh, at the same time there's the problem that you have local units of government and entities that are dependent on the personal property tax revenue for their operations, some communities more than others. And quite frankly, if you have a manufacturing community, uh, that's a community that's going to be more dependent on personal property tax for their revenues. So while we recognize the need to make Michigan more attractive and competitive for jobs, we didn't want to leave communities uh, holding the bag in terms of not having those revenues and have to lay off police and fire. And so this proposal also includes a funding mechanism that would uh, hold local communities harmless so that we would be able to support those and strengthen those community funding sources without the personal property tax.